Welcome to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And for those of you that don't know who we are, Ron and I are the co-founders of The Ridge Project and the co-creators of Tyro. Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a warrior. And that's what we get to do. We get to empower individuals on what it looks like to be a warrior. And what, but what are we worrying about? <laughs> that's good. Not what are we worrying about, but what are we going to war for? Yes, right. What is it that we're willing to fight for? And I hope it's not a street corner. I hope it's not some sort of a, an outfit, right, or a color. It should be and needs to be your family and your family's legacy. So here on Tyro TV, we talk about Tyro dads and what does it mean and the importance of, of being a father, being that, that breadwinner, being that patriarch mm -hmm. in your family to where people can look up to you, people can follow you, people can understand. We're talking about your kids, right? Mm -hmm. That they know that because dad, you set the standard and the standard is set high because you're always striving to become better, not bitter, no matter where you're at. Listen, Dad, we know what we're talking about. We lived through it. Ron and I did 15 years in the prison system. Ron doing time on the inside while the kids and I did the time on the outside. And we had to figure out how to push the reset button mm. to change our legacy because the direction we were headed was not the direction we wanted to go. So our Tyro suite of programs is, is all of the knowledge and the wisdom and the things that we learned through our journey. And Tyro TV is designed to help you lead your kids in the best possible future. You know, I know you mentioned, Kathy, that, you know, 15 years I served inside and you served outside, but and but we're not even calling counting parole. That's you right. know, that's another journey right there, two years after being released on parole right. and successfully completing it, mm -hmm. right? Which is awesome. Yeah. And so today we want to talk about really the importance of routine. Mm. When you get, so, so dads, while you're incarcerated right now, you're developing a routine and you know, we have, you got, you got count time, it's set. You know what time they got to lock you down and they're going to count, right? It is part of that world that you're living in, right? And, but, the, but you've developed a routine for your, not only survival in that place, right? Mm -hmm. But you developed a routine to help you become successful in that place on how to do the time and don't let the time do you. That, yes, right. now you got to do the same thing. We're going to teach you, we're going to talk to you today about how to do the same thing, how to take those principles and apply them in a way that helps you to blossom and grow and thrive on the outside instead of having all the weights and pressure of this world snuff you out as soon as you walk outside those gates. You have an incredible destiny. You have incredible passions that you know what, things that you want to do. And so it's our job to help you be as the best equipped as possible so that when you get out, you actually have the opportunity to make those dreams come true. So today we're going to talk about the importance of developing Ooh. and having a routine, routine when you hit the streets. And routine sounds crazy. It sounds boring. But really, you know what? Routine is exactly what you need in order to live the most exciting, profitable, legal, <laughs> powerful That's right. life that you can possibly lead. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this episode. We are going to be empowering you to embrace routine. We'll be right back. Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You will be taught to take responsibility for your actions. To own it, you will be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about why it's important 
of developing a routine and having one. Ooh wee! Right? And I know some of you are probably thinking, "Oh, routine, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Get in a rut, get stuck in the rut. Mm-mm-mm. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about becoming successful. That's right. right. Successful, and successful. it's really important. Successful. Successful. If you don't have a routine, if you if you just gonna wing it in life, mm-hmm. people who wing it end up incarcerated. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Or they do not end up reaching their dreams. They mm. do not end up becoming successful. You can't wing it. Now there are things. That's like, wow, this has never done, been done before, and so I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to do it, right? We're not talking about that. That's okay to do as you're, as you're figuring it out. And we think about Ben Franklin and figuring out the whole light bulb thing, right? He's like, let's try this. But he had a routine and a plan on trying a bunch of different things to see what works. That's what we're talking about. And actually, his plan was to see what didn't work. Right. <laughs> he found out a lot of stuff that doesn't work to conduct electricity. So what he developed was, and since you're mentioning Ben... Not that he's our friend, we don't know him, but we know of him, mm-hmm. right? Is that he developed a process. Mm-hmm. And so as you're incarcerated, Dad, when you're when you're locked up, you're you're part of a process, right? You're seeing the whole system how the institution runs. And they have a process. They know exactly when to do count. They know exactly when to call chow. Everything is based upon a process because right. the outcome that they're looking for will produce that which they're looking for because they're following a process. A routine. So they're they're trying to eliminate variance, trying to eliminate chaos, right? And trying to manage a process whereby hopefully people come in, they get their food, they get their meals, they get their exercise, right? And they get their programming so as they transition out that there's a positive result. Well, you need to be looking at your life that way. What we're talking about is looking at your life and saying, you know what? I need to do something different because I want a different outcome. I want something better in order to become better, in order to do better. I have to develop a routine or a process in order to get the outcome I want. So that's what we're talking about. So what is it? It's something that will help you become better. Mm-hmm. It, it, it is something that people that are watching you, that are counting on you, can now take you at your word Mm -hmm. because they can count on you to do what you say you're going to do because you're following your routine you're following your process because now they can they can actually watch you produce the outcomes that you say you're going to produce based upon Mm -hmm. your steadiness and we're going to really get deep into this based upon your steadfastness right excuse me based upon your routine they can count on it every day And that's what we're looking for. If if you're going to reestablish a new legacy, you're going to reestablish a new foundation for yourself and for your children, order has to come. Now, chaos almost always comes before order. But as you look at the chaos and you think, okay, now what do I need to do differently? That's routine. That's figuring out the process. Rebelliousness Mm. rejects process. Rebelliousness rejects routine. Write that down. Rebelliousness. Rebelliousness. What is it, Rod? <laughs> Rebelliousness. <laughs> Rebelliousness rejects mm, order. routine. Order and routine. Right? And so you've probably lived your life with a lot of rebelliousness. I know before Ron went to prison, he and I did. We rejected all kinds of routine because we wanted to just, you know, figure out our own life. And what well, it we wanted, us, what we wanted to do, I mean, get off it, sweetheart, is when we were rebel, we didn't even realize we were in rebellious state of mind. Right. We didn't. We didn't appreciate order at all. Mm. I want to eat when I want to eat. I want to cook. I want to do everything is when I want to do it. But what it brought us was right. destruction. Mm, chaos. And so, so really, we really hope that you understand. And by the end of the time that we have together today, our hope is that you will really understand the importance of routine, what it is we're talking about, why it's important, and how to develop a routine of the things we're going to talk about today. So, so a part of the what is this, that you're experiencing this routine in your life right now, Dad. You're experiencing something that's supposed to help you really come to appreciate mm, mm. consistency, mm-hmm. right? And we're going to really dig deep in that because what the routine would do is you will be teaching others and showing others, especially your children, that you are consistent in who you say you are mm-hmm. by your routines. Mm-hmm. If, if you say you're going to do something, but you only practice it maybe the first hour of every day, right? right? And then the rest of the day, it's total chaos, you know, that could be your consistency. You know, you, oh, well, you can count on him. You know what? He's only good for an hour. Then after that, we don't know what will happen, mm-hmm. right? So what, is the, what are they saying about you now, about your habits, about your, your character and how you produce uh, whatever it is you're trying to produce? Because a routine helps you develop habits and habits 
to help you get your goal, right? Because if you never develop any habit, if what I want to do is I want to, I want to touch this. Okay. I say, okay, you know what? So my routine is that I want that cup of coffee in the morning. So I'm going to get up and I'm going to start the coffee pot and the coffee pot then is going to produce a cup of coffee that I'm going to pick up and I'm going to drink that coffee. But if I just say, you know what? I want coffee every day, but I'm not going to bother to create the routine to produce that cup of coffee for me. Guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go without coffee. So it's it's simple as that, right? So in other words, what Kelly's saying is if you know that you gotta take care of your business, get get cleaned up and everything like that, you already know you know what it's gonna take me 15 minutes to for my coffee from the start to finish. It takes 15 minutes. So what time do I gotta get up? In order to, when I'm fully dressed in order, do I start the coffee before I begin the shower, before getting cleaned up? Uh, and then by the time I'm done with my other uh, thing over here, getting dressed and ready to go for the day, the coffee's done. You see, so you've already developed a routine. You know exactly I got to be up by 5.30 every morning. By 5.30, I got to, by 5.40, I will have the coffee percolating. By 5.45, I will be in the shower ready to go. By uh, six o'clock, I will be shaved and done or whatever, all that, right? Ready to go. Boom, dressed. Boom. By 6.05, I'm already grabbing my cup of coffee. By 6.10, I'm sitting down, getting ready to do what I do. Boom. You got a routine. This is every morning because you know, by 6.30, uh, quarter to seven in the morning, I got to be on the road heading to work because it's going to take me 45 minutes to get to work. This is what it is, man. It's, this is process. Mm -hmm. right? So we got to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about why is it so important? So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Playing catch, basketball, laughing and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside, but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tierina. And I'm Kathy Tierina. Woo! Today we're talking about routine, process, and why it's important <laughs> in your life. That's right. <laughs> Consistency. A consistent Man. process. A routine. Something that you do on a regular basis will transform your life if you're doing the right things. So why is it important? Because without a routine, without a process, you're not going to get where you want to get. You're not going to accomplish the things you want to accomplish. I'm going to use an example of my daughter. I was just talking to my son earlier. So I have a granddaughter that's entered sixth grade and I have a daughter that's entering 10th grade. And I know when, when my daughter, when our daughter, Bria, went to sixth grade, it was a huge change to go from elementary school into middle school. The same thing happened when she went from middle school into high school. So she had a routine in elementary school that was working for her. She was getting up at a certain time. She was counting on her teachers to make sure that she had all of her notes signed, that she had all of her homework done, that her parents were regularly communicating with their parents. Her teachers, I'm sorry, were regularly communicating with their parents. And so she had that down. So then she graduated from elementary school, went into middle school, and her sixth grade year, the first, especially the first semester, was like chaos for her. She's like, oh my gosh, you know, what did the, the teacher say? What, what am I supposed to have done? And I don't have this. And I was like, Bria. And so when we talked to the teacher, the teacher's like, listen, she's in middle school. She's got to begin to be accepting some additional responsibility. <laughs> Same thing in high school. Then when she got in her ninth grade year, she started really struggling for a little bit. And she's, this is a straight A student. And she got a C and she's like freaking out. She's like, I didn't know this was due. So we talked to the teacher. The teacher's like, yeah, they get a syllabus. It's their responsibility to get their work in on time because they're in high school now. We're preparing them for college. And so the routine that you develop, right, it's so important because it creates success. So she had to constantly re-examine her routine and say, you know what? Okay, I need to have a routine where I know that this is the time I block for studying. This is the, top, the time I block to check my assignments. This is the time I block to check in with my teachers, right? And that's a lot of blocking. <laughs> <laughs> but, and guys, you can see this because what, what, what Kathy's describing is how our daughter was able to evolve mm -hmm. and adapt 
to what came her way mm -hmm. and, and not get all kicked off the, the square or, or, or tripping or having a nervous breakdown because change came, mm -hmm. right? And it's important to understand this. So what does, what does, why is it important to have a routine? Because what does it do for you? It breeds and it will grow in you discipline. Right. And that's what we saw happening with our daughter. She was growing in a realm of discipline. Mm -hmm. Right. Instead of running from the new responsibilities, the new things that were uh, put upon her to acquire as she was getting older. Same thing with you. Once you leave a, 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 the penitentiary setting, dad, where everything has been given to you. The right, routine, the, the process has been imposed upon you. Mm, right. Right. Mostly. All of it has. Right. You know, you got a couple things you can decide upon whether you're going to go to chow or not. But the <laughs> process is there. How right? much you're going to eat. Yeah, and all the, everything's already set for you. But it's set there for you so that you can walk into it and embrace the experience that you're having so that you take those principles and the discipline that you've now embraced by embracing the process that's been imposed upon you so that you can take that gift it's a gift. Don't fight it because oh, when you fight right. the process, you, you, you're not going to have the outcome you want. Right. Right. And that you desire. But when you embrace the process and you begin to learn and grow through all these things. When that, you develop right? the process, right, then that's empowering because it's like, wow, you know what? So right now you have a routine and it's important to you to help get you situated for success. When you get out, you have to develop your own routine. We have seen so many guys, so many dads come home and they completely rebel against routine because they said, you know what? For five years, somebody told me this and I had to be on this routine. I had to get up at this time. I had to eat at this time. Mm. I had to do this. I'm not doing that anymore. And what happens is they begin to get tripped up because they, they had no plan, no process in place, no routine. They got up when they wanted, they ate when they wanted, and then slowly, they began to sink back into their old habits that they had before they went to prison. Before they knew it, there they were calling us, oh man, I got myself in trouble, you know, I don't know how it happened. Okay, let's look at it. This is how it happened. You didn't have a deliberate plan to do something different. You know, when you get out of prison, Dad, and you and you have the you you know you're you have great intentions about becoming successful. Well, great intentions require great effort. Right. Right. And and great effort means that you have to do it. You know, and when, you, when you're meeting with your parole officer and he tells you, I need you to be here at a certain time, be there, mm -hmm. right? That means you'll do everything in your process and everything in your routine that you're going to make sure that you're there at that time. So that means when you're working for a job, you're looking for a job, you know that this is part of your, your path to success. Mm -hmm. I will be at my parole officer's office every once a week at 8 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. That's going to be part of your routine, right? Right. And, and, and we teach people, listen, I know he's expecting you to be there or she's expecting you to be there. You show up there and then you show up another time. You call them. You add extra stuff to your routine. But what I'm saying is that this type of discipline that you are experiencing that you don't want to fight against while you're there in prison, don't blame the system for imposing this. This is where you are at. You're in a training crown. Mm -hmm. You're in a training ground. BIT. You're doing a BIT. What's it stand for, Tyro? Basic individual training. You're being trained to create and amplify the process in your life. Listen, we know what we're talking about. We had to go through this. We had to say, oh my gosh, what we were doing is not getting us what we want. Look what we were doing. Look what it created in our family. It almost destroyed mm. us. We had to sit down. We had to create a different plan. We had to come into agreement and say, you know what? We've got to create something completely different. And then it took a lot of courage. Say that, courage. Courage. Say it again. Courage. courage. If you don't have courage, if you can't Muster the bravery to change your legacy, well then you may as well just walk away from this show right now. And you may as well just give up and just let people know, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do because I lack courage and the bravery to do something different. So dad, some of you guys are in there talking about with your, your cats and your dudes in there, when I get out, I'm gonna sell this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hustle this, and you're gonna go back to your selling dope and all that stuff, living on the street, go back to your old affiliates, listen to me. That cannot be part of your process, right? right? Birds of a feather flock together, and if you continually walk with lames and, and lame ducks and all this type of stuff, you will get the same outcome you had prior to going to prison. The routine you're looking to develop is one of success. So even your, and we talk about sphere of influence, why is it important? Because you will attract what you build. Mm -hmm. You will attract what you build. And we're gonna talk about the next segment about how to do this. You can do this. If we can do it, you can do it. And your kids are counting mm. on you to create a brand new legacy. And a brand new legacy comes from a brand new routine. We gotta take a short break right now, but when we come back, stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this, because when we come back, we're gonna... Tell you how to put this all into action. Dear son, it's been hard these last few years, 
watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around. I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man, learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad. You're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. Dad. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about developing a routine and having one and why it's important to, to really understand the discipline it takes to become successful. Ooh, and the bravery and the courage it takes. Because in order to do something different, you've got to muster the courage to mm. say, you know what? First of all, I have to admit that what I've been doing has been wrong. That takes a lot of courage to admit that you were wrong. And the moment you begin to implement the change that it takes to become successful and you're going to change your routine, that means you're changing the people you're with. Right. And you're changing everything around you. Our whole life is going to shift. That takes a lot of courage. But you know what? I believe you can do it because if I can do it, anybody can do and it. And if I can do it, uh -huh. She can do it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> so let's talk about how do you do it. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is you've actually got to determine what it is you want. So if you don't know what you want and you're going to go and develop this routine, right, you're not going to get what you're That's looking worthless, for. That's right? worthless. Listen, when you qualify, let's say, let's say you, want to, you want to build some muscle. You want to build some muscle and you want to lose weight. Well, what do you got to do? Develop a plan. So there's a lot of workout routines out there that you can do. You can find you a partner in there. Hey, man, you look like you've been working out real solid here in the joint. You help me put together a plan so that I, too, can get healthy and start looking fit. While I'm in here. And so what you do is you, so what do you want? Whoa, well, that's fast. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right? What do you want? Oh, yeah. I want to lose some weight. Right. I want to build some muscle. I say, okay, so let's start first with your eating habits. Because it's, okay. the, cause it's So see that? The yeah. first thing was, what do you want as the end result? So you say, okay, this is what I want as the end result. Yep. And so in order to get there, what are the things that I have to do on a regular basis? And so if Ron's talking about, you know what? I want to lose weight. I want to gain muscle. On a regular basis, I have to eat right and I have to work out. The same thing, it's like, okay, what do I want? I want to start my own business, okay? So that's the end goal. What is the routine that you need to develop in order to get you to that end goal? That's what you have to figure out. And so you say, okay, step one, step two. So then after you determine the end goal, so the end goal is at the top of your page in big letters, and then after that is like, here's how I'm going to get there. What's First the of path? all, I'm going to start getting up every morning and I'm going to write for one hour. Then I'm going to get ready for the day. Then I'm going to go look for work. Then I'm going to follow up on the leads of the places I looked for work last week. And when we're talking about inside the penitentiary, guys, and I say this a lot because you're a dad and you got to really be careful who you associate with inside the penitentiary, right? Because like minds attract. So if your mind is not changing into a positive sense and you're still attracting, right? Uh, people who want to sell marijuana, people who want to sell drugs, people who want to hustle, people who want to go, still do human trafficking, people yeah. who still want to live that lifestyle. If you're still attracting that type of individual into your sphere of influence, then you haven't changed the inside of you. You still have You're still playing a game here. So when you begin to develop a new process, that means your thinking is changing. That means you're going to attract people who are already successful. Because what happens is attract attracts like, mm -hmm. like attracts like, right? And you will see that happening. And you're gonna people are gonna come around you that are successful. You know, we call them jihadist lawyers, right? But these guys might have a paralegal degree mm -hmm. that they got inside the penitentiary. How right. they do that? Ask them. What was your process? On what? How did you develop 
this routine in your life in here that got you this degree? What did you have to do to get there? Well, right. the first thing is I had to make a decision. I wasn't going to hang around those guys that were always on the handball court. I wasn't going to hang out. You know, we make those conscious decisions. I had to spend my majority of my time where? In the law library. Right. right. So you decide your big goal. What is it you want? The second thing you do are the steps that it's going to take. What do you need to do to get there? Third thing, start doing it, right? Mm. That might sound like, oh gosh, that needs that doesn't even need to be said, but you know what it does? It does. We've met so many people that they know what they want, they know what it takes to get there, but they won't do it. They won't do it. You have to do it. And, and that's, that's the hardest part. That's really key because you can't have somebody do it for you. Right. Right, dads? Come on, listen. I remember talking to Tyros who get out of prison and they call me up, hey, I need a job. Well, how long have you been home now? Well, I've been home six months and you still have a job? Well, I've been waiting on you to come and show me how to do this. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to get hooked up. Dude, I live two hours from you. Right. How, how, is that, how is it that you've been waiting on me? Mm -hmm. You're said, not waiting on you're me. You're not waiting on me. You don't want a job. Fear has stopped yeah. you from moving forward. And whatever else. And you just, or right. and I say, listen, either you're doing one of two things. Either you, you're not with your wife, you're with somebody else, or you're selling dope. Which one are you doing? Mm -hmm. Right, because that, that's what usually happens when, when the guy gets out of prison, he's got a family, he's out hustling something else if he's not at home working. If he isn't six months out and you still ain't got a job yet, okay, You're doing something you shouldn't be doing. What are you you doing? have not changed your routine. Okay, right. so the third step was do it. The fourth step, and this is another very important part of the process, is to revise it. And that means, you know, when we talked about, I used the illustration of Bria, how in elementary school she had this routine, then in middle mm -hmm. school she had to adapt and she had to slightly change her routine, and then again as she went to high school. And she'll have to do it again in college, she'll have to do it again in graduate school, right? Because the, the circumstance, the more successful you become, the more you have to fine tune your routine and your processes, because the more demands there will be for your time. And you have to make sure that along your whole process, that part of your routine is investing in your children. And that's why you have to have a very clear plan. It's a plan you develop. Mm. It doesn't control you, you control it. So and the number fifth one that we have is, is powerful, but it may even be equal with number one. First, you gotta qualify what you want, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about that. Number five that we have on here is you gotta be teachable, mm -hmm. right? Because developing a routine prior to coming to prison, you didn't have one. Maybe you had a hustle routine, but it ended up locked up, so that right. wasn't a good routine, right? So here now, you gotta be teachable. You gotta let others show you how did they become successful? How did they become financial free? How did they get retired from their place of employment for 30 years? Mm -hmm. How did they do this? Well, they developed a routine of discipline that got them what they wanted, mm -hmm. right? That's right. So we gotta take another short break. When we come back, we're gonna tie it all up for you and hopefully, you know, break it down the final point. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions, to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about developing a routine and embracing the process to get there. <laughs> That's right. Actually being empowered to create the process, not just embracing the process, but creating the process. And so we've talked a lot about, you know, what we mean by routine. It's not like, oh my gosh, I'm stuck in a rut and I hate my life. I hate what I'm doing. It's about, wow, empowering you, you being empowered to create the life that you always wanted. But when you experience what Kathy just described, gosh, I hate my life. I hate what I'm doing. This whole routine, this thing that nothing's changing in my life. Change it. That's right. <laughs> That's it's up right. to you. If you find yourself in a place Place where I'm not happy with what I'm doing, then stop doing that and do change. something different. <laughs> if it's not getting you what you want, then revise your plan. So we talked about the five steps, and so we want to review those really quickly. So step number one, identify what it is you want. Step number two, design a plan 
to actually get you what you want. Step number three is just do it. Don't wait on somebody, do it. And if it doesn't work, guess what? Number four, revise it, <laughs> change it. Don't be stuck. If you know it's not working, don't get stuck there. Revise it. And step number five, Step number five is always remain teachable because along your journey, you're gonna encounter all these different people that know more than you know. Mm. And so when we can learn and grow from people around us, that helps us to fine tune and revise. The more successful we become, the more that we have got to be really intentional about fine tuning the process or the routine by which we live. And this part we was gonna add one more. Mm -hmm. After you understand the principles and how to activate to this routine in your life and you mm -hmm. see the success happen, not only are you teachable, now you want to impart. Right, you're right? teaching other people the same thing. And, and you are teaching your kids, you're leading your kids by example, but also teaching your kids intentionally. Hey guys, let's set up a routine so that we can make sure we've got game night. Let's, make, let's set up a routine so we've got time to play those video games together. And you're still doing well in school. As you begin to develop that, you can teach your kids and you're leading them into a future defined by success. Man, that is, that is awesome, Kathy. Listen, this has been really good. This is, we hope you got something out of this. We hope you took some notes um, because none of this comes if you're just sleeping. Listen, right. if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a routine and you get up in the morning, go back to bed because <laughs> you're not ready to face the world. This is really important, guys. Listen, dads, when you hit the streets and if you don't have an agenda when you get up in the morning, don't, don't, don't try it. You're going to wind up Hurting go somebody. Back to bed, think about hurting. what you're going to accomplish that day. And and in fact, let's go another step. The night before you wake up, the night before, write it down. What are you What are you planning to accomplish the day the day of you wake up? This is powerful. This is how you get a new path of success. Something that you can impart to others. So we want to thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey. So until next time, always remember that, that we are rooting, rooting for, for you. you.